Hello. Uh, before I waste anyone's time, I'll get to the point. I do not know what I'm doing, and you will not learn anything from this channel. Nothing at all. What I thought would be a fun kind of concept is since I'm fairly new to art, I would be just kind of creating a study buddy channel. You know? You watch it, you see someone else who's completely new, who's struggling and sucks at art. You don't get discouraged watching all the professionals. You just... I guess, follow along, or watch and make fun, or whatever you want to do. I'm pretty new to art. I've been going for about two months, but just this week I got a drawing tablet to do digital art. So, what I have up here are some drawings I've done before. Making foxes, that's what I've always done, is I've drawn foxes on paper. But when I got a tablet, the feeling was weird and new to me. It was odd looking somewhere where I'm not drawing and seeing what happens. So while I got used to that feeling, I decided I would also try to learn something else than foxes. So this video was my first week of learning to use a tablet and learning how to draw humans, which I am very bad at. So yeah. Oh my god. I have you not clicked off yet. I need, I need more filler. All right, so. All right, so. I'll just keep saying all right, so until something happens. So yeah, the general idea with this channel is that I'm going to have it in three sections, or it'll be kind of the intro, then I'll practice some art. I'm using a thing I found on Pinterest, I'll link it down below, that's what I'm using to learn. It's just a picture that I'm copying, basically, and then after I've practiced that and learned from it, I'm going to try to do a bigger project, using the knowledge that I gained from it, and just using that one reference. That will be, yeah. Linked in the description if you want to follow along or try it out or whatever. And then, yeah. So that's pretty much how it's going to go. I'm going to have the reference drawing at 5 times speed because it's really long, I'm really slow. And I guess it'll just be awkward silence or maybe some royalty free music if I can find some. Let's get into it.
Okay. I guess it's about done these. It's time to get into making our own project using them. So, as I was going through when drawing those, I was trying to pay attention and learn. I had no idea where to start with any of it or what any of the fucking lines meant. So, it was a it was a struggle at first, but I kind of started to understand the position of the spine and the shoulders and just started to make more sense as you go along. You learn as you practice more, I guess. Uh, if anyone has any tips for learning or tips on how to make a better YouTube video, I'm new to YouTube and new to art. So, any advice on either of those? Sorry, I keep stuttering. My cat is attacking me, so it's making me slower. Anyway, if anyone has advice on how to make better videos, how I could make these better, or how to do art, I would very much appreciate it, because with both fronts, I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's going to be awkward. It's going to be cringy at first. So yeah, what I did here was apparently make a stretched out dough man. And then I went to a second layer so I could focus on trying to make the more difficult details like hands, because I wanted to be able to erase them without re-erasing what was underneath. Like, without destroying the stomach if I needed to erase the hand. And yeah. I tried to use different colors so I can know what's on different layers. Again, new to this. I'm bad with technology in general. So I had not a great idea of what I was doing, but I watched some good YouTube videos, some tutorials on it. And I try to position the hands in a way that it would look like they're holding stuff. So I could later put items into the hands when I finished deciding what the hell I wanted this drawing to be. <laughs> Which I think I ended up deciding it was going to be a blacksmith woman holding a hammer. And yeah. So the feet, I tried to doodle in here. Pretty sure I redid the legs entirely later on. And... Yeah. Eyes, I I can never do eyes. If, yeah. If there's one thing you can take away from this video, but to not do eyes like I attempted to. Can't even do hair. I don't know why I attempted any of this. I had one reference, and it was just poses of the body. And I was like, yeah, I can probably do hair and eyes. No, no. Hair, eyes, hands, I can't do any of that. I should not have attempted it. Alright, so I added a third layer here and kind of went over it with black because that would be more part of the main build when I was done. I'm, I'm not going to be coloring this, by the way. I have no idea how to do shading or any of that, any blending. So I'm just going to try to create the outline. Maybe, maybe week two could be coloring and I'll come back and I'll color this and I'll make more stuff and try to color that. I don't know. If anyone doesn't completely hate these videos, let me know in the comments. What do you want to see? I'm just going to keep taking this week by week, repetition, slowly learning to get better. Yeah, here's where I tried to... I realized the legs were really awkwardly shaped, look like a red doll or a piece of dough, the Pillsbury Dough Boy. So I decided to kind of try to make them longer. Man, that arm is jank. Looking messed up. Oh boy. I also attempted foreshortening, which I also haven't learned yet. So, I really don't know why I did a lot of the stuff I did. I realized that hand was gigantic and terrifying, so I tried to copy it but make it shorter, which didn't work out. <laughs> Oh boy, I have a lot of regrets with this one, but it's all part of the learning process. Is what I'm going to tell myself while I cry myself to sleep. And, yeah, I guess one tip I've learned is control Z as your friend. So, undo when you hate what you're doing. Which I kind of figured out the general shape here. I want to start adding in the props. So the stuff she'd be holding. And I should have done the clothing first. I guess I can move the layers around. That'd be 
because the props are going to go over tops of clothing. I should probably make it the higher layer. Got rid of the green so I could see kind of the lines I was missing. Now I have a lisp missing. And yeah. I don't know why I added ribs. It wasn't important. She was going to be wearing a blacksmith apron anyway. I guess it just kind of helped understand where the folds in the apron would be. I have no idea what my own line of logic was. I'll, I'll one day understand. <laughs> okay, needy cat, I am trying to record. So yeah, I tried to just, yeah, I missed a few lines there. That's why I did the check, removing the red. See what needed to be done. That one index finger is incredibly messed up in the black, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> you know, now that I'm re-watching this video and commenting over it, I'm really regretting the size of the hammer. It is tiny. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be making with it. Maybe weapons for, for little elves, little Keebler elves. And yeah, I wanted there to be a flame in the palm of her hand, kind of like magic fire, because she's a blacksmith, and yeah, it just made sense to me. Oh, I keep looking at that messed up arm. Oh, it's bugging me. Oh well, I guess I can always go back and fix it. <laughs> if this even can be fixed. Maybe just start over. And there I tried to kind of outline the apron. I was thinking what I should do for the feet, and then I realized it would be stupid to be barefoot in a blacksmith shop. So, I figured I'd give her big gloves for safety, and big boots for safety, and I tried to add in some kind of, yeah, some kind of wrinkle lines. I did not do a good job. You know what, maybe, maybe like week 20 or something, I'll come back and redo this. Don't. Don't quote me on that. Because I never know what the hell I'm deciding. Well, yeah, I also decided I was going to give her stockings. I forgot about that part. Yeah, you know, click size, save lives, as they say. As the kids say these days. So, yeah, she was going to have black stockings. And I guess not black. I decided not to color. But boots and gloves. And there it is. That's... The end of week one. I hope you enjoyed, and please tell me how to do all of this better. Goodbye. <laughs>